Why is it that no one likes performance reviews? Employees don't. Managers certainly don't. In typical reviews, we take a one-size-fits-all review and try to apply it to employees that are responsible for different things, creating confusion. Then we ask the manager to score using some kind of rating scale. For example, on a 1 to 5 scale, managers typically score towards the center of the scale, essentially telling employees that they meet expectations. After averaging those scores, both employees in this example end up with a 3, even though one of these performances doesn't meet expectations. Managers now have a difficult time explaining or justifying the score. A 3 is 60%. It's really a D, but we try to tell people that it meets expectations. Reviews are done. We can check that box off for another year. However, what did you get for the investment of your time? Managers don't feel like they accomplished anything. Employees don't feel like they gained anything. Not only have we lost a valuable opportunity to communicate, what we have communicated is not at all an accurate reflection of what employee performance is all about. An action ignored is an action rewarded. And an action rewarded is an action repeated. Remember all of those employees who are rated as meeting expectations? You just told them to keep repeating the same behaviors. Is that what you really want? What is that doing to your culture? This process has failed you for decades. You've changed the rating scale. You've increased frequency. You've added peer, self, and 360 reviews. And still, you're getting nowhere. It's time to stop the insanity. Let us show you how Threads breaks the cycle. Email us at contact at threadsculture.com.